It is my joy today to welcome uh, two new people into the family of God, Brooke and Abigail. I want to invite you up with your family uh, to come and gather with me around the font. Would y'all welcome Brooke and Abigail up here? want to stand with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church, incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation, and given new birth by water and the Spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without price, who we are representing for baptism today. Brooke and Abigail, will you join me? Next slide, please. So on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever form it presents itself? Do you put your whole trust in Jesus Christ, confess him as your Savior, and put your whole trust in his grace, promising to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? According to the grace given you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? Will you nurture Abigail and Brooke in the Christian faith and life that they may grow in their faith to accept God's grace openly and to lead a Christian life? And now, congregation, I ask that you stand with me as we all have uh, a chance to renew our baptismal vows at this time. Do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include Brooke and Abigail in your care? Will you join me? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround Brooke and Abigail with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust of God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. When somebody comes forward for baptism, uh, they will profess their faith in Jesus Christ along with the church, and I'm going to invite their parents to, to join us in doing that today as we profess our faith as uh, lifted up in the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Girls, will you come join me as we pray over the water? Come on over, Abigail. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent your son Jesus Christ, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brooke, you want to go first? What name is given this child? Rick Marie, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Mom and Dad, will you join me in laying hands on her as we pray? Lord Marie, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having born, been born again by water and the Spirit, you may grow as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ every day of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You ready, Abigail? What name is given this child? Abigail Grace. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You join me in laying hands on her. Abigail Grace, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born again by water and the Spirit, you may grow as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ every day of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will you join me, congregation, in welcoming our new sisters in Christ? Will you stand? Join me in these words of welcome. Through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit in God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as members in the family of Christ. And so I ask you, congregation, uh, I commend uh, Abigail and Brooke to your care. Would you do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Let's change till we give you thanks. Will you join me? We give you thanks for all that God has given you, and we welcome you in Christian love as partners together with you in the body of Christ and of the Watershed Church. We renew our covenant to faithfully participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness that in everything God may be glorified in Christ Jesus. The God of all grace who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live all of your days in grace and peace. Amen. Will you join me once again in welcoming Brooke and Abigail into the family of God?